I am fascinated by tardigrades and love looking at them under a microscope. They are also known as water bears or moss piglets, which I think are absolutely great names. They are invertebrates and are very short, only 0.05mm to 1.2mm in length. They have four pairs of legs, which have four to eight claws on them. They feed on the fluids of plant, animal and bacterial cells and are themselves eaten by amoebas, nematodes and other tardigrades. Some are entirely carnivorous. They can reproduce sexually or asexually by parthenogenesis, which means that they are able to produce eggs without mating. And a few species are hermaphrodites. They have been around for a long time, with fossilised tardigrades being found dating back 500 million years to the Cambrian period. Tardigrades can be found in the sediments of sea and fresh water, but the most easily found species are those which are terrestrial and live in moss and lichens. All species are considered aquatic, as they need water around their bodies for gas exchange and to prevent uncontrolled desiccation. There are over a thousand different species of tardigrades, and they have been found in all habitats in the world, from the icy wastes of Antarctica to lava fields in Iceland. Many experiments have been carried out on tardigrades, as they have some superpowers that intrigue us humans. But not all species of tardigrades have superpowers, only some of the terrestrial ones, and these have come about as an adaptation to the rapidly changing microenvironments found in damp flora, such as moss, which are subject to rapid drying and wetting. When their surroundings lose water, the tardigrade also dries out. It loses up to 97% of its body moisture and shrivels into a structure like a ball called a ton, which is about one third of its original size. This is a form of cryptobiosis called anhydrobiosis, which means life without water. In cryptobiosis, all measurable metabolic processes stop, so there is no development, repair or reproduction. They can survive in this state for years, and it is as a ton that they are able to survive very high or low temperatures, high pressure, a vacuum, organic solvents and ionising and UV radiation. Scientists have found that tardigrades in the ton state can survive a pressure of 600 megapascals, which is much more than the 100 megapascals found in the Marianas Trench. They have even survived being sent into space. In September 2007, 3,000 tardigrades in their ton state were exposed to the solar radiation, heat and vacuum of space. When the tons returned to Earth and were rehydrated, the tiny animals did all the things they usually do, such as move, eat, grow and reproduce. A more recent mission into space occurred this year, in June, when 5,000 tardigrades were sent to the International Space Station. Scientists want to investigate what happens to the genes of tardigrades in space, specifically which genes are turned on or off in response to short-term and long-term spaceflight. Ultimately, they want to find out what makes tardigrades so tolerant, which they hope will then lead to finding ways of protecting biological material, such as food and medicine, from extreme temperatures, drying out and radiation exposure, all of which will be very useful to know for long-duration deep space travel. If you have a microscope, you can see these adorable tiny creatures yourself. Collect a clump of moss or lichen, it doesn't matter if it's wet or dry, and place it into a shallow dish that has rainwater in it, or distilled water will do. Leave it for 3 to 24 hours, and then discard any excess water from the dish. Squeeze the moss or lichen and collect the trapped water. Put a small amount of this water onto a slide, and look under the microscope for the tardigrades. If there are any, then please put them back on the moss or lichen once you have finished and put that back where you collected it from. Next time someone asks me what superpower I would like, I'm going to just say that I want to be a tardigrade. And they get to go into space. What amazing little organisms they are. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe and share with your like-minded friends.